really disgusting. It's <laughs> not good at all. <laughs> South American Latte. We're Marshall and Sabrina. In 2023, we quit our office jobs to chase our dreams of traveling the world. We spent six months backpacking through Europe and Asia where we experienced some truly amazing things and tried so many delicious foods. Now we're back in the US and we bought a van which we are gonna be living in while we spend some time exploring everything this country has to offer. And today we're exploring Manitou Springs, Colorado. We are up bright and early for a change. It's about 7.45 or a little after 7.45 and we're already in Manitou. We don't usually get up this early to start our videos, even though we probably should, but today we are because our first stop we thought would be better before it gets too hot and we're supposed to be in there very soon, so we're gonna go ahead and head over and show it to you when we get there. stop is a hot spring, one of our favorite things to do. We knew this was going to be really cool no matter what, but as we were pulling up, there were just clouds over all of the mountains. Which Such low clouds. Yeah, which looked really cool, but it completely obstructed the whole mountain view. Those have pretty much all passed or gone behind the mountains. And so there's just an incredible view. We have a perfect view of the incline hike that goes up the mountain at the old Cog Railroad. Oh, and yeah. everything's so green, it's so pretty, and the sun's starting to come out. I feel like, so this place opens at eight, we got the first reservation at eight. And so there's really not many people here. I think there's one other person in a tub behind us. Yeah. But this place has private tubs for everybody. This one fits max of four people, which I think is pretty regular for their tubs. And I think they have one or two that fits more than that. But this is such a nice spot. I've lived in Colorado Springs since I was nine years old. And I didn't even know this place existed. I grew up like 30 minutes away from here. <laughs> and this is the first time I've done this. And it's so great. It's it's so nice. As far as I could tell from their website, every reservation you make in these tubs is 90 minutes. So we have these night for 90 whole minutes and it's $45 a person. So for us it was 90. We booked this yesterday morning and like I said earlier, we have everything. We have this whole thing to ourselves pretty much. And we got the one with the best view. We're on the highest floor and there's other hot tubs around us, but they have railings like right here, which blocks the view of the mountains. And so I think we just got really lucky. I don't know if this place is usually packed, but this is really, really cool. The sun came out, so it's heating up pretty quick. So I think we're gonna take advantage of some of the other amenities like the cold plunge. You excited? No. <laughs> <laughs> as I expected it to be. I think in some other hot springs we've been to, there have been way worse cold plunges. <laughs> Sorry if that's shaky, I had to get it to show up. It is definitely still, like, it wakes you up. So this is perfect for the morning. So I can't wait to get back to the hot tub. <laughs> We are now properly toasty and I think it is time to head to our next stop. We're gonna go to a really cute cafe and get some caffeine and it's about a 15 minute walk away so we'll see you when we get there. We 
we came to this place because it's supposed to have a traditional South American mate, which is like a, a tea drink. And I got the gourd mate, which she said is pretty intense. It's the traditional way that they drink it in a lot of South American countries. So I'm pretty excited to try it. We've not been to South America yet, but we are really excited to. Um, yeah, she said it's pretty intense and most people don't like it, but I feel like I had to try while we're here. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. Honestly, it's way better than I was expecting. It's not bitter at all. It's just that they pour cold water on the grounds before they before you pour on the hot water so that it's not bitter at all. Um, yeah, that's uh, maybe my expectations were just really low going into it, so this is pretty good. To get to the Monte Cafe from the spa, we had to walk about 15 minutes right down the main street of Manitou, which we are about to show you guys. But before we do that, we forgot one thing in the car, so Marshall's running back to get that. And while he's doing that, I thought I would take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about the town of Manitou Springs. We are right on the edge of Colorado Springs, and this is just a really cute, quirky little town. And it is a perfect stop if you're just riding through Colorado because we're only about 10 minutes off of I-25, which is the highway that takes you north to south all the way through the state so it's a really easy stop right off of that road one of the main reasons this town was founded is because of all of the mineral springs that are all around this area and as you're walking through the old town as we're about to show you there are a ton of these springs set up so that you can try them i'm really thirsty so the cold water is nice but it's really disgusting it's not good at all <laughs> what is it like I don't even know. It's kind of carbonated. It's kind of it kind yeah. of tastes like un, like carbonated, unflavored water. I it's think not they're good. all carbonated. Yeah, it's really not good. Maybe you like it if you like carbonated water alone. Apparently, every one of these springs has a little bit of a different flavor. So let's see if he likes this one. That one's almost sour. Really? It's still carbonated. It's not good. I've only ever tried one of them. It was a long time ago, but I know I hated it. So I just wanted Marshall to see if he liked it's, it. It's, it's <laughs> almost, maybe this is wrong, but it's almost like lemon lime flavored, but not in a very good way. Okay. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Such an inefficient day. First, I had to run back to get the thing that we'll reveal in a second. And I thought we lost our tripod when I was running back. I thought it fell out of my pocket or something. So I had to run back. Apparently, I just left it in the car. <laughs> Even when we try and plan things out, they always end up like this. We were gonna uh, be efficient. We were gonna be efficient. We were so close. But it always ends up like this. We should just learn to not plan at all. I mean, I don't know if that's the right <laughs> way. It may just make it worse. That line through the mountain is the incline, and normally things like this look a lot easier in per or from a far away, but that looks pretty miserable. <laughs> Oh, 
I missed it. <laughs> You've been going for like 15 seconds. <laughs> much money as we used in that arcade. Yep, like half of those were not working. Yeah. But it was, it was still pretty fun. We just realized that our parking is expired and it's not letting us it's renew good. it on the app or online. So we're gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, right, I gotta go. <laughs>